Hello guys, welcome to my channel to another episode of the Hit and Miss series. Now this is a totally new series that you're probably getting to learn a little bit. And this is where I try two different sources picked by the Boo, who is also the cameraman. Now these are sources from my collection. I have hundreds of sources here and I don't know which one's which. So we'll see, it's complete blind tasting and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I try them which one I like more and we'll go from there. As you know, I don't really do reviews. This is my way of trying to help the producers and I can't really have my friends over for the Dip and Skip series. So this is a good way to go. Guys, I want to bring to your attention something really special that's happening. Uh, it kind of broke my heart. I was meant to go to New Zealand uh, Chili Festival this May to take part in a belt competition again to try to win the belt back from Justin Runnell. But as you know, because of the current situation in the world, that's not happening. And all the competitions, all the festivals have been cancelled uh, uh, for the next few months. So my friend Alex Beans from Alex and Vicky Chili Reviews, check him out on YouTube, has come up with an ambitious plan and I think he can pull it off. And it's an online chili festival, which is happening, I believe, on the 25th of April. Um, so that's from 10 till 8, so 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. UK time. And there's going to be loads of things happening. You're going to meet the producers. There's going to be online tasting. There's going to be competitions, chili challenges, cook-offs, all sorts of things. So it's almost going to be like going to a festival, but you can't, and you're going to be at home doing all this. So it's really interesting, and I can't wait to see this one go off and I'm sure he's going to do a great job but this is happening on the 25th of April on the NEUK Chili Heads Facebook group um, now this is a free Facebook group you can join um, it's an open group and there are so many members all around the world that are part of it Johnny Skull, Atomic Menace, myself, Heather, Bella from Heat 101 so you know these people are all part of this as well as Roger Trier etc so guys, please go and um, check out that group. This is happening on the 25th of April, the first of its kind in the world. And I just believe that this is an amazing initiative to sort of make things really exciting for us while we're sort of in this lockdown and um, you know, we're all stuck, but it doesn't mean we're stuck at home. We still get to test things and try things. So do check them out. Now, back to this, my episode of hit and miss so the one on the right is a little watery i mean i can just kind of i don't know if you guys can see that it's quite orange pale orange it's a bit watery i can see chili seeds swimming in it the one on the left is quite thick it's a very sort of bright red almost like a berry red which is a really lovely color i actually really like that but let's see flavor wise so i'm going to taste this one first on the right hand side guys there are no losers here Whichever one I prefer more, the booth is going to show you the bottle and you guys know them. Okay, so let's pour this one here onto this spoon. Okay, there you go. Really watery. Mmm, smells nice. Almost sweet, like a sweet chili sauce, so I'm not sure. Let's, let's have a go. Okay. Oh, there's nothing sweet about that. Oh, it's actually quite hot. It's got a real kick to it. It's got a smoky flavour to it. I don't know what it is, but smoky, it's hot. A bit of vinegar I can taste. It's a nice sauce. I like it. Right, so now this one here, which is much thicker. You can see the pour on this. It's a beautiful colour. I do love that colour. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, so that's like beetrooty, it's really earthy. I love it, it's not too hot at all. The flavor is so unique, it's so different from anything else I've tried in hot sauce, um, hot sauce wise. Oh my god, I think I really like that. I'm going to have to have a little more of a taste there. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I like this one, but I've tried many other sauces like that, so this is just so unique, which I like. I love that earthy flavour. I really do feel like it's beetroot. It's not too hot. The colour would say it's beetroot, but let's see. Let's find out from 
the boo what we have this is the winner for me today not that this is a loser but this is the one i prefer today oh <laughs> so guys here it is mother of peppers dragon's blood you know nothing john snow <laughs> So this is from my friend called Erica. This is a beautiful sauce. She sent this to me. Erica Shiz, uh, you will know her from Facebook groups. So she's quite a huge member of the Burn Club. It's just a wonderful lady. So I've got a story behind this sauce. She sent this to me in America, um, found out my hotel details um, um, and then sent that to me along with a couple of other sauces. And I remember trying this before. I did not recognize it today. It's beautiful. I've had it in the fridge all that time. It's a beautiful sauce. Um, I will sort of put the link up for that. I mean, I, I'm, She's I'm inspired gonna... by the Game of Thrones. She is. I can't read the ingredients unless I put my glasses on, which are half broken. So that's not very good, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, you can zoom in. My sight's not the best, guys. I've had, I've been wearing glasses since I was four years old, so it's pretty difficult. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful oh, sauce. No, we can't, can't do that. It won't auto zoom. Oh no. Okay. Maybe I can let, make a. Let me read them. Okay. Here That's a great idea. Here's yeah. our sight. It's like twenty so twenty vision. Yellow bell peppers. Then it says just beet, so I think that is beetroot. Okay. Um, so it's either that or beets by Dre, so yeah. <laughs> Mango, so apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, onion, mm. lemon and lime juice, Beautiful. red wine, Himalayan salt, garlic, vulta, Carolina reaper, Trinidad scorpion, boot jalokia, that's me, the boot, <laughs> and vanilla, just at the end there, just to give it a bit of softness. Mother and of peppers at gmail.com if you're interested. My God, Erica, this is a beautiful sauce. It's, it's really unique. I love it so much. I mean, now, like I've had it a few times, I can just feel the burn building up. So it's not as mild as I thought it was at first, but it's still beautiful. It's the earthy flavors in it. It's unusual for a hot sauce. I'm in love. Thank you so much for watching. There's a pretty cool little bit of blurb on the label. Mm -hmm. Let me have a go at reading that quickly. It won't take long. I can't. <laughs> Mother of Peppers, Dragon's Blood, that's the title. Dragon's and Blood. Dragon's Blood, sorry. Oh, okay. Mother of Pe Peppers, Dragon's Blood. The name Mother of Peppers was influenced by the love of the television series Game of Thrones. Many of us were sad to see the show come to an end. Fortunately, this hot sauce can put you at the edge of your seat once again. Dragon's Blood offers the finest ingredients and sweetness of Khaleesi, as well as the heart of Dragon's Fire. Best on red meat, pork, or chicken. And this is batch number 88, bottle number 22. I love that, it's written in pen and everything. I love the blood, that is so cool. So much thought's gone into that, that's amazing. I love that. Wow, Erica, you are super cool. Thank you so much. She has a really great tolerance and she's such a great sauce producer. I do actually have a few of her other sauces as well, and they I don't think there's one that I've tried that I did not like. So, you know, she's the one to watch out. I, I just hope that she'll just mass produce them for everybody to get. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely the winner today. Thank you so much guys for watching yet another episode of Hit and Miss. Thank you.